What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player pack breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at the fans choice league one player selection. So you've got Messi, Ben Yedder, you've got a couple of nice young players as well that we can actually, you know, fit into to, to, to squads that have, uh, you know, a bit of a bit of growth there if you want to put a lot of training into them. There's a lot of high level players here that we can get into in a second. But obviously, it's going to be about Messi. It's going to be about Ben Yedder. It's also, I would say, one of the one of the picks of him is going to be David. This guy is an absolute machine. Sanchez is quite good as well, but we won't focus too much on them. And look, depending on when you actually downloaded and started to play Football 23, you would potentially have better players than that are on the selection here, right? You you probably will. Like, But there is a good entry point for players you can uh, spin this 20 times and get all these players if you want. So if you want to guarantee yourself Messi or any of these players, you can do so. Um, it's not limited like the player of the weeks. So there is a good entry point for players. But if you are like me and you've been playing the game for a while, as I keep repeating, it's all about perspective. Some of these guys that are here will be absolute monsters for you and beasts and big improvements to your squad. And some will just be, you know, not nothing players for you because you've got a team full of legends and epics. So we're going to just kind of go like really fast through these guys and then slowly through a couple of the other players at the end here. Right. So straight off the rip, I'm going to pump in, um, you know, these five players here. OK, they're all kind of similar players with the same kind of weakness. Um, they've also got like a lot of stuff that, yeah, isn't just good enough if you're looking to compete in the divisions at a like fairly regular level, like, you know, even I would say division four onwards, these players all have kind of like weaknesses in their card. I mean, either it's going to be dribbling as you see with this guy, this guy's a box to box, right? All of these guys, Kamara, Sissoko, all of these are going to be similar. We're going to show you a build here in a second. They're either Anchorman, DMF, or Anchorman, uh, or Destroyer, or Box to Box, DMF, or CMF, right? And they all have kind of got the same issue, is that they either have lack of pace, they have lack of dribbling, they have lack of skills, they don't have unwavering form, and all of these are kind of the same. They have lack of, there's something missing with them all. I'd even throw in this guy as well, uh, even though he's more of a passer and an orchestrator, I would throw him in as well for the six players. And when we go over to Football DB, we're going to take a quick look at some of the DMFs here, right? So we'll take a look at Magnan here. Um, he's got some good player skills, but as you can see there, even though his defensive stats are good, his dribbling is going to have to be completely uh, negated if you if you want to train him up this way. If you kind of like abandon his lower body strength and only have 70 speed and 70 acceleration and put that into dribbling, you're still only going to have low dribbling stats. So, you know, these are just average kind of DMF, CMF type players, you know, whether they're anchormen or whether they're box to box, they are going to be lacking on something. This guy is a well-rounded player. You've also got Sissoko, who's a well-rounded player. Um, He's got very high aggression with 80 speed, 87 stamina and 70s for all his stats. Very solid there as well. But then he doesn't have that many um, player skills and he doesn't have the unwavering form, which is going to make a big difference with the way the form is going to work while the season is over and we transition to eFootball 24 and we also have Torre there as well so that's just to give you an example of the cards I know I'm going through this quite quickly but look there's been so many of these cards out um in the last couple of months I mean similarly here we've got uh Bilali here or Bilali um this guy is a very very good player he's got exceptional player skills with double touch he's got first time shot through passing soul control cut point and turn he's got brilliant he's it's an actual brilliant card but for this level that you're going to be trying to get with him, this guy just isn't going to cut it. I mean, even though he's got 90 acceleration and, you know, dribbling and balance and all that in the 80s, there's just so many players that you can buy for GP that will be able to compete with him, um, especially, you know, with guys that have unwavering form, which none of these really have, right? So, I mean, any of these guys that you're seeing here, obviously there is going to be a couple of good lads that you that you can get. Um, Kalulu is a good player as well. I remember him um from a while a couple of seasons ago he's had a good uh, season as well um i would say that if what i'm looking for in any of these players as we go through them is something that stands out right so the first one that kind of stands out to me is going to be Bal balagon right this guy is an absolute machine and i think he definitely is one of the picks of him right he's having a fantastic season over in france at the moment um and he's got a super sub card as well which i always you know kind of piques my interest right so when we actually train him up and just simulate it here we can see that he's going to have 88 offensive awareness, 86 finishing, and 95 acceleration with 84 speed and 84 balance, right? So depending on how you want to train him up, if you're fairly proficient in front of goal, you can actually take this down a peg and go down to maybe 84, and you could bu bump that up if you wanted to get the speed a little bit higher. Um, 
if you wanted to get to dexterity a little bit more, if you wanted to have 96 dexterity and a bit of passing or whatever, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this card. And I do think that bringing him on as a super sub, it probably means you don't need to pump anything into his speed or stamina because you can just pump that in as a substitute that you're going to be bringing him for instant acceleration, instant pace, and just being an absolute machine in front of goal, right? Similarly, we've got Fafana, who is uh, CMF. He's had a lot of different cards down throughout the months. And this guy is a very dominant player as well. Doesn't excel in anything, but he's kind of like an all-rounder in everything. You know, he can just kind of slot in at different positions. Again, he's got that standard form, which is a bit of a pity. He's missing a couple of player skills as well. He does have double touch, which is always nice on a CMF to get you out of a little bother. Um, and captaincy and fighting spirit is always going to be good as well. But again, you look at him, he's just an average card at this stage of the game's life cycle, in my opinion, right? So we've also got Terry Adair as well. Um, he's fairly fast uh, when you boost him up. He's got super sub as well, and he does have unwavering form. But, you know, other than that, there's probably better wingers that you're going to be using on, on the game at the moment. So that brings us, you know, to the likes of Sanchez, Schmeichel, Tagliafico, um, Diallo, Lopez. All of these guys, I would say, are pretty average uh, depending on your squad. It's all about perspective. But the ones that you're going to be interested in are probably going to be the last three here. So David here, this guy is a machine, lads. I've said it before about this guy. He is definitely a bit of a hidden gem in the game that people just do not use. Um, and I don't know why. I mean, I have him on my Xbox profile that I never play, but I always talk about. Uh, but he is he's fairly good for me on my Xbox profile um, that I play. I mean, you can see here that you can train him up quite well. And you've got, you've got a lot of variety with him, right? So even when we max him out here, we've still got three levels to go on either dexterity, shooting, or dribbling. So depending on your play style, depending on how good you are uh, in front of goal, if you want to maximize, if you struggle to score goals one-on-one, -on -one, you can put that into 88 finishing. Uh, similarly, if you want that little bit of more, you know, um, kind of like stick to the foot type player that you're used to playing with, maybe, you know, Mbappe or Romario or anything like that, you can put it into dribbling to get the dribbling and ball control up to 86. Or lastly, you can pump it into dexterity, which is going to give you 95 acceleration and 88 offensive awareness, which with the boost... Because he has unwavering form, he's going to have a form arrow more up than now, down more often than not. You are going to be able to get over 90 with the offensive awareness. So a very strong card. And then we also have Messi and Ben Yedder. We know what we're getting with Ben Yedder. He's just a serious finisher with excellent acceleration and balance. Um, as we can see there, he's also got unwavering form and brilliant player skills, including super sub, which I love. And then to round it off, we do have yet another Lionel Messi card, right? So you can train up Ben Yedder quite easily as well. If any of you want training guides on these players, let me know. Now, the big problem with Messi, this Messi card, lads, right? He does have unwavering form. He does have excellent player skills. He does have one-touch pass, double-touch. So he's a perfect AMF if you're used to playing with those kind of zippy, you know, really nice uh, mobile AMFs that just seem to be dominant in the game at the moment. But he is down as a creative playmaker, and he's down as an SS, right? But the big problem with Messi's card is his lack of speed and stamina. That's going to be a bit of a killer on this card. If you are planning on having Messi and this version specifically of Messi as, you know, a starter for you, you are not going to get to 65, 70 minutes with him depending on your play style, right? If it's me, right, I am probably just going to be using Messi as an impact player. Either start him, take him off, or else bring him on even though he doesn't have super sub. You could always try and give that to him with an additional skill. But yeah, there is a lot of issues with this card. Even his standard version, right, is pretty much identical apart from minus three with the offensive awareness. Of course, this guy is a better version of him because he's two extra levels. But all the other versions of Messi that have been released are pretty much better than him so um you know even the free messy version of him there is is better so i would say that yeah if you do spin for him i would say that you know you, be, you have to be guaranteed that you get him if you're going to clear it um but i would say you know the standard gp version of him is stacking up very very well against this messy right obviously you'll have two less levels and the team play style will come into it so that could be the difference between you spinning for that messy or not but uh yeah this one is going to cost you coins and the other one's going to cost you gp so that is it for me, lads. Just a quick one. As I said, we're into kind of the end game now with the cards and new players coming. I think that we're going to see, you know, a lot of new cards for eFootball24. But let me know if you're going to spin or skip, and I will be back in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. We hopefully will be streaming later. I'm off work sick, lads, so, yeah, not feeling the best, but hopefully we'll be able to get on and uh, do a bit of a stream later on if I start to feel better. But, yeah, um, hopefully. So we'll see you guys in a while. Talk to you then.